Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at setting up like a zombie nation style uh, top down shooter. Um, this is just going to be a base for you to build upon. Uh, build upon. Um, I'm just going to work off the first person template in UE 4.27 but you could follow along with any version that does no problem and this is essentially what you're gonna get um, so as you can see the camera is fixed above the character as a top-down setup the character follows the the cursor uh, anywhere that you you you, you move it uh, you have full control over the character and the blue pimp react to that and you can then go to town on all of these cubes which then you can later add in enemies AI uh, and, and get yourself a, a zombie game doesn't have to be a zombie game but that's what comes to my mind when when I see this style of uh, top-down shooter so let's get into it okay so first thing you want to do is just jump straight into a brand new uh, first-person template or if you've already got an existing you can use that too um, what we're going to do is we're going to first highlight the first person character that they leave in the world and just press edit uh, up at the top or essentially go into the, the first person blueprint through the, the content browser. Uh, and once, you, once you've opened up that blueprint, if you just want to go back to your map and just delete this character, um, just because it, it can cause a, bit, a couple of issues uh, later on, just with a sort of stagnant character being left there, we'd rather spawn in a fresh character every time using the uh, player start, which is what it's intended for. So with that out of the way, um, what you want to do is just come into your blueprint. Now, what we've got is we've got two guns at the moment. That's because there's a, a, a VR gun set up. I'm personally not going to be setting up VR, so I'm going to remove everything from the motion controllers down to the VR marker. I'm going to press delete. Now, when you compile, this is going to give you some errors because there is some code set up um, or some blueprint set up uh, expecting you to be using that. So I'm just going to highlight all this motion controller stuff um, from the spawn projectile. I'm then going to remove this uh, select as well, but then I'm, you're going to need to put the transform from the projectile back down to this uh, make transform from, from your gun. Uh, there are a couple of other things as well. There's a couple of head mounted display enabled stuff here. I'm going to leave those in the movement input because they don't really cause any issues. But I'm going to remove the reset orientation and use the, you know, the heads up display of motion controller gunk at the top. Hit compile and then that should all be fine again. Um, that's great. So still we've got this set of arms which you know, I, re I like using the FPS because essentially you, you've, you've kind of already got half of what we need. We've got a character that moves around and we've got um, a mouse controlled aim, which, you know, you might you might say all of them are set up like that. But um, there is a subtle difference with the FPS, which just makes it a bit smoother. So what we've got at the moment is the arms and we don't want that because we want this to be sort of third person because once we move the camera back we're going to see that the arms are not connected to a body and it you know it might not be what you want uh, it's definitely not what i want so let's let's change it so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to grab the mesh 2p and we're going to just drag it on top of the camera and that's actually going to detach it because at the moment it, it's it's attached to the camera so if i try moving the camera it's just going to move the whole rig with it because it's parented so let's drop it back onto the camera and just detach it so now if we move the camera back uh, we're going to be fine uh, but now what you'll see is we get this kind of independent camera view the arms still follow the um, you know the side to side movement but it did no longer move to the up and down which is you know essentially what we want but we just don't want the camera to move we want it to be fixed so to sort this, we just go to the event graph um, and then where we go to mouse input, where it says look up, we're just going to uh, hold alt on the keyboard, click on the white line and we're just going to detach it. I'm not going to delete it because, you know, you never know, you might want to set something up later um, and it's just nice to leave that in there. If we press play now, you'll notice we've got a very rigid uh, side to side, but we can still move, uh, but there's no longer any up and down movement, which is perfect. Um, what we want to do as well is we're just going to select the first person camera and we're just going to untick the use pawn controlled rotation 
um, compile that and this might not necessarily give any visual difference at this point but um, it, it, it can help on some glitchiness uh, further down the line so we're still stuck now with um, this funny arm mesh so what you want to do is you want to get a third person model now luckily if I drag this over here uh, Epic Games have already released a pack onto the marketplace called the animation starter pack which is full of tons of animations with different weapons pistols rifles all sorts of stuff uh, and all the animations which is br absolutely brilliant so this is free so you can either download it or if you've already got it um, which most of you probably will if you've been with Epic for a while you can add that to your project now I've run this in 4.27 so my project doesn't actually appear so if I click on show projects mines there and it tells me it's not compatible but it is it you know it works out I've not seen any bugs with it yet so it's it, you know it's fine to add to it same with uh, the early access 5 as well UE5 that's it, it's absolutely fine now I've already added this up front uh, so it's asking me if I want to replace it yours will just add once that's done it'll take a couple of seconds you're good to go um, so now that's been added where we've got the mesh 2p um, we're just gonna click on the skeletal mesh over here and we're gonna replace that with SK mannequin which looks a little bit strange at the moment under animation what we're gonna do is click on the anim class and we're gonna be looking for one sec let me scroll up so then you can see that menu um, we're looking for UE4 ASP which is the animation starter pack Click on that and you'll see the, the guy starts to animate a bit better to, towards holding a weapon. Um, oh, one thing we need to do actually, under construction script. So the FPS is set up where it welds the gun to the hands at the grip point. Um, we're not going to do that. Uh, so we're going to remove that and then just hit compile just so then the, uh, the gun doesn't remain in that state. Um, we're going to tell, we're going to now select the gun and under parent socket we're going to manually set this to hand underscore R which looks a little dodgy at the moment but don't worry we'll, we'll sort that out. Now back to the mesh what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset the location and the rotation uh, because it was it still had the settings from the FPS arms. Now, for the z-axis, for the location, I personally choose minus 95, which puts it, you know, a nice place. And I'm also going to set the rotation on the z to 270. Um, so 270. Yep, which is which is good for me. Uh, and I think that's about it. Now, same for the gun. This is still set up to be. Uh, with the arms uh, so we're just going to reset the location on that and reset the uh, rotation on that now the rotation on the Z I think is 90 yep that looks right now the location you can mess around with this a little bit you can mess around with this a bit so let's let's drag this forward a little bit a bit more let's move it uh, let's move it back a little bit and you know what, for this example, that looks good enough to me. Yep, let's see if that looks uh, reasonably okay in the world. So let's press play. So, guys running around, we're looking left and right. We can still fire our gun. So everything to me so far, apart from the camera angle, looks, looks sweet. So, we're pretty much there almost. We just need to sort this camera out now. So, for the camera, I'm just going to reset the location. Now, the numbers that I've come up with um, are uh, 650 for the for the, the Z. Uh, I then go to minus 300 for the X. Now, the rotation is on the Y, and I put that to 310. And that should have it all the way up there, pointing down at your character and let's press play and let's see what happens so now you can see we've got this uh, top-down shooter but we're not quite done there because you'll notice 
the gun is still set up to set the aim from where the camera is looking by the end of the gun so in, in actual fact my bullets are coming straight out of the gun and hitting the floor so you, you can see they're actually bouncing right up into the air so if I get close to you can see the kind of like uppercut in this box that's not right so last little thing to change underneath the spawn projectile as you can see that it's getting the rotation of my camera which is not good because it's pointing straight into the floor uh, we're going to delete that and the easiest thing for me to suggest here is you grab your capsule component drag that onto your world rotation and that should be rotated towards the front of the the guy and that's brilliant and now your bullets come out straight away because you because you're on a top down you'll notice you can see the offset of the bullet coming out of the gun is is, is massive we can tidy this up as well a little bit um, so your gun offset there if you select that or here in the left corner uh, you can set that offset down to as low as 20 I think if you go under 20 it starts to collide with the actual gun itself so I'd probably you, you can mess around with it a little bit more or if you like to you can also set it up with um, with a line trace which will just completely remove all that issue anyway um, which I think most games like that are set up with a line trace, but I, you know, I'll leave you with that because that's not the intention of this video. Um, if you'd like me to to build on this and, and include uh, a line trace on top of that, uh, please feel free to give me a, a comment down below, and and I, and I can sort that out. So if we press play now, you'll notice that the the bullets are coming out a lot better, a lot closer to the character, so we can get right up to the wall now, almost. Well, now we can't because we're in the wall, but. That's better. Um, one other thing we can change um, because the crosshair is quite close to the character is if we go to the first person example map and under uh, first person blueprint and then blueprint and then first person HUD. Um, so the way that this template is actually set up is that it just kind of draws a texture onto the map. And it is offset slightly because the gun is held to one side of the character. There is an offset of 20. Um, just, just to familiarize you with all of this. Um, if we then change, I believe it's going to be the X to, let's divide it by 4. Hit player. Nope, that's the wrong one. I do this every time. Uh, change that back to 2 and let's change the Y to 4. Hit compile. Uh, and then now our crosshair is a lot further out and again you can replace this with your own crosshair you can rep re replace it with just a line which which is more zombie nation style um, but at this point now you've got a working top down shooter so um, I hope that was uh, of some use to you I, I hope you build on top of this and make some brilliant games with it um, if this was helpful, please consider giving me a like. Um, if you liked uh, how this video was, consider subscribing so then you can see some more. Uh, and until until then, until next time, thank you and see you later.